Hey there, and welcome back to Planescape Torment. Uh, we were just about to get in there. Uh, I'm sporting a lovely um, winter look. It's now cold, and it is winter, and I am now wearing this giant thing on my head, and, and everything's great, and this thing. So get used to it, because it's now cold. Um, before we get started, I was told to chat to to um, endure to my enduring friend. Strong. In an enduring grow strong. So I was told to chat with him because we should chat with him every once in a while. What is your will? The con turns to you. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. I'll. I might be burping a little bit today. Um, radiation has made me. Uh, I've been going through a course of radiation, and it is making me nauseous, apparently. And yeah, so if I burp a bunch, that's because of that, and I'm sorry. So, uh, the contrast to you, his eyes like polished coal, his blade mirrors his eyes for a moment as you address him. Then he nods, what is your will? There are things I would know, Dakon. I will hear you. Um, I have some questions about the Githraeasy. Dakon waits. Can you tell me the 30 PC get people again? Um, can you tell me about the 30 people again? Know this and accept it as an answer. We are the people who make our home upon the shifting plane of limbo. With a deft motion, Dakon slips the blade from his back and holds it before him. Wait, see what happens. There, we mold the matter of limbo with our minds. We forge cities with our thoughts. I think we've heard this before. Um, boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, can I talk to you about your teachings? My current profession resumed the study of weapon craft. Can you train me? Now, can you teach me anything of the art, Dakon? Know that the way of the people is not the same as the art you have come to know. It is not the energy that gives strength. It is knowing the self that gives strength. The teaching of Zerthamon speak of such things. Okay, so now that I'm a mage, Dakon is a multi-class fighter mage. I don't want to be a fighter, which apparently he can teach me. I want to stay a mage, but he can take. I, I haven't talked to him since becoming a mage, so maybe he can teach me mage stuff, which is cool. Um, and yeah, I was told by a commentator, uh, a, a commentator, a commenter. I had a comment on the last one telling me to talk to Dakon, so let's do that. Uh, would you teach me the way of Zerthimon, Dakon? Do you know what you have asked? The texture of Dakon's blade flows until it becomes a stone. To walk the path of Zorthamon, you must know of the people. The knowing of such things by one not of the people is a difficult matter. There are those not of the people who have heard the way of Zorthamon, but they do not know the way. <clears throat> Again, sorry. Dakon, I want to know of the people and know Zorthamon's teachings. I believe there is wisdom to, wisdom to be learned in such things. Updated my journal. Know that I have heard your words, and I shall test them. To learn, you must know the people. To know the people, you must know the unbroken circle of Zerthimon. Dakon holds up the stone disc in his possession, and his spider-like fingers hook into its sides. There is a click, and the plates of the circle slide into a new configuration. He reverses the motion, sealing the stone. Know the first circle of Zerthimon is open to you. Study it, then I will hear your words. I will read the first circle, then. In the meantime, I had other things I would know. I very well. I will examine it and speak to you again. So, did he give me a new one, or he just opened up this one? So, the unbroken circle of Zerki the Zerthamon. The small round stone is the unbroken circle. The unbroken circle is a Zerth religious text containing teachings of Zerthimon, the founder of, G of the Githrazi people. The circle is made up of a series of interlocking circles that fold out from one another, depending on which branch the reader wishes to follow in the path of the teachings. It is said that some Zerths spend years poring over the combination of the plates, looking for new significance in the teachings. Dakon seems to use the text as a means of focusing his spellcasting abilities, for he pours over the table, occasionally memorizing the words used. This small round stone is the unbroken circle of Zerthimon. It is made up of a series of... I just read that. Unlock the first plate as Dakon showed you. You mirror the motions that Dakon made upon the circle, and the plates give way at your touch, the rings sliding into a new configuration. Upon the rings are a series of symbols. The script is like no writing you've ever seen. It is a series of interlocking geometries, with circles predominating. Just look at it. Looking at it, you know the symbols, and know you can read them. Read the first circle of Zerthimon. Know that we are the first people. Um, I can close it and I can examine it again. Continue reading. Know that we are the first people. 
Once all was chaos, the first people were thought drawn from chaos. When the first people came to know themselves, they were chaos no longer and became flesh. With their thoughts and knowing them of matter, the people shaped the first world and dwelled, 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 dwelled there with their knowing to sustain them. Yet the flesh was new to the people, and with it the people came not to know themselves. The flesh gave rise to new thoughts, greed and hates, pains and joys, jealousies and doubts. All of these fed on each other, and the minds of the people were divided. In their division, the people were punished. The emotions of the flesh were strong, the greed and hates, the pains and joys, the jealousness and doubts. All of these served as a guiding stone to enemies. In becoming flesh, the first people became enslaved to those who knew flesh, only as tools for their will. No, these beasts were the Ilithids. So, Ilithids, from my knowledge, are um, mind flayers, like strong mind flayers, like the, 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 the stronger mind flayers are Ilithids. Uh, and they're super evil. Continue reading the symbols. The Ilithids were a race that had come not to know themselves. They had learned how to make other races not know themselves. So Ilithids multiply by taking other races and turning them into Ilithids. Um, that is why you can have Ilithids of any other races or mind flyers of any other races. Um, actually, like, if you've seen Baldur's Gate, Three's announcement, you know that's the process of turning someone into a mind flyer and stuff like that, so that's cool. <clears throat> I might be not fully correct about these things, depending on where you come from, but that's mostly true, I think. Uh, no, correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, they were the tentacled ones. They live in flesh and saw flesh as tools for their will. Their blood was as water, and they shaped minds with their thoughts. When the Ilithids came upon the people, the people were a people no more. The people became slaves. So the Ilithids um, screwed up with the Githrazi. The Ilithids took the people from the first world. Ugh, Jesus. I'm going to be burping all day. Uh, people, I am burping all day. People from the first world and brought them to the false worlds. As the people labored upon the false worlds, the Ilithids taught them the way of the flesh. Through them, the people came to know loss. They came to know suffering. They came to know death, both of the body and mind. They came to know what it is to be to be the herd of another, and have their flesh consumed. They came to know the horror of being made to feel joy in such things. Finish reading the circle. The unbroken circle is the knowing of how the people lost themselves, and how they came to know themselves again. Uh, reread. No, leave the unbroken circle. So I can I talk to him again. Words. What is your will? There are things I would know. Can I talk to you about your teachings? Dakon waits. I wish to give up my current profession. No, I have read the Unbroken Circle. I want to speak to you more about the way of Zorthimon. What did you come to know? Okay. Strength lies in knowing oneself. I learned that once someone does not know themselves, they are lost. They become a tool for others. I learned that your people were once slaves to the Ilithids. It seems they committed many crimes against your people. Um... <clears throat> Let's go with the first one. Updated my journal. That gave me some experience. You have come to know the first circle of Zorthamon. You not only see the words of Zorthamon, you have come to know them. The Khan holds up the circle and hooks his fingers around the edges. There is a click and the plates of the circle slide into a new configuration. He reverses the motion, sealing the stone. No, the second circle of Zorthamon is upon you. Study it, and I will hear your words. Um, but can I, can I say something? Can I talk to you about your teaching? Um, yeah, what do you come to know? I will speak to you I later. Feel okay. Stronger. I leveled up? How much experience did I actually gain? Uh, 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 the, 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 the combat log? No, just how much quick loot? Oh, there's quick loot, which I have not been using so far, which is, I probably should. Dialogue window. Yeah, just 300 experience. That was enough for me to level up. Apparently, I did not need much to level up. So let's uh, quickly quick save and then open up uh, that and level up. Spell resistibility increase, one hit point gain. Mmm! Saving throws became slightly better, I think. I guess the minus two is what happened in it. And now I can do more spells stuff. Okay. Yeah, 
Um, cool. Sorry. <laughs> Another chromatic orb. I love the sounds. They're very interesting. Priest scroll. I have no priests. Oh, wait. Priest scroll? No. If I go to him, it, it goes automatically to the mage. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Quick save. Sure. Um, now I need to look at the, the second... The, the second... <clears throat> I could have also said talked about the Illithids, but he doesn't want to know the history. He knows the history. He wants me to talk about the things that I've learned about myself and stuff. I don't know. This small round stone is the unbroken circle. Yeah, unlock this the second circle. Let's learn some history, shall we? You slide the place in their configuration to Khan showed you, and a new ring is revealed. The ring carries the same script as you read before, with the same geometries. You know the symbols, and know you can read them. Know the flesh cannot mark steel. Know that steel may mark flesh. In knowing this, Zerthamon became free. Know that the tentacled ones were of flesh. They relied on the flesh and used it as tools for their will. One of the places where flesh served their will was the fields of husks uh, on the false worlds of the Illithids. The fields were where the bodies of the people were cast after the Illithids had consumed their brains. When the brain has been devoured, the husk came to be fertilizer to grow the poison-stemmed grasses of the Illithids. Zothamon worked the fields with no knowing of himself or what he had become. He was a tool of flesh, and the flesh was content. It was upon these fields that Zothamon came to know the scripture of steel. During one of the turnings, Zothamon tilled the fields with his hands, he came across a husk whose brain remained within it. It had not been used as food, yet it was dead. The thought that one of the husks had died a death without serving as food for the Illithids was a thought Zerthamon had difficulty understanding. From that thought came a desire to know what had happened to the husk. Embedded in the skull of the husk was a steel blade. It had pierced the bone. Zerthamon realized that that was what had killed the husk. The steel had marked the flesh, but the flesh had not marked the steel. Zothaman took the blade and studied its surface. In it, he saw his reflection. It was in the reflection of the steel that Zothaman first knew himself. Its edge was sharp, its will the wearer's. It was the blade that would come to be raised against Gith when Zothaman made the pronouncement of two skies. Zothaman kept the blade for many turnings, and many were the thoughts he had about it. He used it in the fields to aid his work. In using it, he thought about how it was not used. The Illithids were powerful. Zerthamon had believed that there was nothing that they did not know. Yet the Illithids never carried tools of steel. They only used flesh as tools. Everything was done through flesh, for the tentacles one, tentacled ones were made of flesh and they knew flesh. Yet steel was superior to flesh. When the blade had killed the husk, it was the flesh that had been weaker than the steel. So Illithids have tentacles, I think it's pretty clear. Um, they have tentacles, they do everything with those. What they eat is brains. Uh, when an Illithid attacks you, for example, in, in gameplay terms, when they attack you, um, again, sorry, they come up to you and they attack you. Their first attack will take away your intelligence uh, down to three. Um, and if they attack you again, when your intelligence is three, you'll be dead because they have eaten your brain. And that's how they, that's, that's the gameplay mechanics of how Illithids and Mind Flyers work. So that's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, they, they eat brains and stuff. It was then that Zerthimon came to know that flesh yield, yielded to steel. In knowing that, he came to know that steel was stronger than the Illithids. Finish reading the symbols. Steel became the scripture of the people. Know that steel is the scripture by which the people came to know freedom. Okay, let us talk to... What is your will? I know that knowing something can be a tool, just like flesh and steel, if upon encountering it you attempt to know its nature and how it came to be. While tending the fields of Illithids, Zerthamon learned of the nature of steel and how it could be used to defeat the Illithids. I'm gonna go with one again. I gained an item. Uh, you have seen the words and you have seen beyond them you have come to know the second circle of Zerthimon. he takes a circle and with a deft motion he twists one of the links so one of the plates slides forth but strangely enough the stone still appears intact he hands the plate to you meditate upon this teaching and the knowing of it shall give you strength when you have absorbed it you shall know more 
Very well, I will study it. Yet I would still know more of Zerthmon's teachings. The con fingers feel around the edges of the stone circle, and he twists it clockwise, the links clicking, until they have settled in a new configuration. He then reverses the motion, resetting the stone. The next circle for Zerthmon is open to you. Study it, and I will hear your words. Okay. So, first of all, I got an item. Uh, it is just the second circle of Zerthamon. Allows user to copy Scripture of Steel into Spellbook. Circle plate is the second circle. No, the flesh cannot mark steel. No, steel cannot mark flesh. Blah, 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 blah. It's everything that I've read. You succeed in learning the spell, and it goes away. So now I have um, Scripture of Steel, which is, yeah, um, the... Uh, bless. This is Bless. But I don't need to use Bless because he already uses Bless, so I don't really need that. But apparently, I can continue. I can keep going. Uh, Alright. Third circle. Let's do it. Let's see where, where we reach. I'm assuming that every circle is a level of um, spellbook that I can... I'm just... Wild assumption here. Is a level of, of, of uh, spells that I can actually cast. I can current. I just gained the ability to cast level three spells, so I can read the level three. Maybe I'm assuming this is where we'll stop. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's up to just my intelligence level, uh, which is like 19 or 18 right now. Uh, in which case, we'll continue doing it all the way up. I don't know. Uh, let's read the, the third circle. Zerthamon labored many turnings for the Ilithid. Arlethi, twice deceased, and his partnership in the cavernous heaven heavens of the false worlds. His duties would have broken the backs of many others, but Zerthimon labored on, suffering torment and exhaustion. It came to pass that the Ilithid Arlothi twice, Arlothi twice deceased ordered Zerthimon before him in his many veined galleria. Gal galleria. He claimed that Zerthimon had committed slights of obstinance and cowardice against his partnership. The claim had no weight of truth, for Arlothi only wished to know if flames raged within Zerthimon's heart. He wished to know if Zerthimon's heart was once of a slave or of a rebel. Zerthimon surrendered to the Ilithid punishment rather than reveal his newfound strength. He knew that were he to show the hatred in his heart, it would serve nothing, and it would harm others that felt as he. He chose to endure the punishment and was placed within the pillars of silence so he may suffer for a turning. Lashed upon the pillars, Zerthimon moved his mind to a place where pain could not reach, leaving his body behind. He lasted a turning, and when he was brought before Arlathi twice deceased, um, he gave gratitude for his punishment to the Ilithid, as was custom, and in so doing, he proved himself a slave to the Ilithid eyes, uh, in the Ilithid eyes, while his heart remained free. By enduring and quenching the fires of his hatred, he allowed Arlathi twice to cease to think him weak. When the time of the rising came, Arlathi was the first of the Ilithid to know death by Zerthimon's hand and die a third death. Okay. So, um... What is your will? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I've read the Unbroken Circle. Endure. In enduring, grow strong. Well, I knew that because he keeps saying that. <laughs> um, I know there's something that a leader must suffer in, in order to protect his goals. But I'm just gonna go with the coolest thing. Endure. In enduring, grow strong. The words you speak seem to strike the Khan strangely. As you speak them, his forehead creases, then resettles into its normal passive expression. Gained an item. Your will has brought you the knowing of the third circle of Zerthimon. With this knowing, I impart this to you. He takes a circle and with a deft motion and twists one of the links. So one of the plates slides forth. His, he hands the plate to you. Meditate upon its teaching, and the knowing of it shall give you strength. Very well. I will study the circle. Is there more you can teach me? As you ask the words, you suddenly notice that Takan isn't looking at you. He is holding the unbroken circle in his hands, studying it. His blade was taken on the same texture as the unbroken circle, and Takan suddenly seems older somehow. Takan? Takan's black eyes rise from the circle and look at you. Know that I do not believe you would come to know the teaching of the circles. It is a difficult path you will walk in learning the way of Zorthamon. Is your mind focused on this matter? Yes, I wish to learn more. The Gon's fingers feel around the edges of the stone circle, and he twists it clockwise. The link's clicking. The next is open to you. I will read it in the meantime. Okay. Um, wow, like, I can keep reading. That's interesting. Third circle. Submerge on the will. Uh, 
that is AC two and saving throws blah blah blah. Yeah, it's it's level one spells are pretty crap. I'm gone. I gotta say they're pretty not good, but mm -mm. <coughs> use unlock the fourth. You slide the plates into the configuration Dakon showed you. Read the fourth. Know that the rising of the people against the Ilithid was a thing built upon many ten turnings of labor. Uh, many of the people were gathered and taught in, secrets, the, in secret the way of defeating their Ilithid masters. They were taught to shield their minds and use them as weapons. They were taught the scripture of steel, and most importantly, they were given the knowing of freedom. Some of the people learned the nature of freedom and took it into their hearts. The knowing gave them strength. Others feared freedom and kept silent. But there were those that knew freedom and knew slavery, and it was their choice that the people remained chained. One of those was Vilquar. Vilquar saw no freedom in the Rising, but opportunity. He saw that the Ilithid had spawned across many of the false worlds. Their worlds numbered so many that their vision was turned only outwards. To all they did not already touch. To all they did not already touch. Vilquar's eye saw that much took place that the Ilithid did not see. To the Rising, the Ilithid were blinded. Vilkor came before his master, the Ilithid Zigitaris? Zigitaris. Maybe. Uh, with the knowing of the rising. Vilkor added to his chains and offered to be their eyes against the rising. In exchange, Vilkor asked that he be rewarded for his services. The Ilithid agreed to the contract. At the bonding of the contract, a dark time occurred. Many were the betrayer were the betrayals Vilkor committed, and many were the people that the Ilithid fed upon the stem to stem the rising. It seemed that the rising would die before it would occur, and the Ilithid were pleased with Vilkor's eye. It was near the end of this dark time when Zerthimon came to know Vilkor's treacheries, and knowing Vilkor's eye, Zerthimon forced the rising to silence itself, so that Vilkor might think at last his treacheries had succeeded, and the rising had fallen. He knew that Vilkor's eye was filled only with the reward he had been promised. He could see what he wished to see. With greed beating in his heart, Vilkor came upon the Ilithids and spoke to his master of his success. I'm sorry. Um, he said that the rising had fallen, and the Ilithids were safe to turn their eye upwards once more. He praised their wisdom in using Vilkor's eye, and he asked them for his reward. In his greed, blindless Vilkor had forgotten the knowing of why the people had sought freedom. He had lost the knowing of what slavery meant. He had forgotten what his Ilithid masters saw when they looked upon him. And so Vilkor's betrayal of the people was ended with another betrayal. Vilkor came to know that when Vilkor's eye had nothing left to see, Vilkor, uh, Vilkor's eye was useless. The Ilithid gave to Vilkor his reward, opening the cavity of his skull and devouring his brain. Vilkor's corpse was cast upon the field of fields of husks so its blood might water the poison-stemmed grasses. What is your will? Uh, 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 uh. Yes, what did you come to know? When one chooses to see only what is before them, they see only a part of the whole. They are blind. And just as Vilkor was blinded by his promised reward, so were the Ilithids blinded to the true rising. For when they heard Vilkor's words, they turned their sight outward again, didn't they? And the rising was free to strike. When one chooses to see without knowing, they betray themselves. When one chooses to see without knowing. I'm gonna go with two. Updated my journal. The Gonfor creases into a frown. Then you have come to know nothing. You are one who hears the words and does not know them. I will study the text again. I I clicked the wrong thing. I should have clicked always one. Okay. So it is always the first one. The second one is just incorrect. Uh, even though it sounded correct this time. Know that you speak truly, Vilkor's eye blinded both Vilkor and the Ilithids. The tentacled ones thought the rising to be no more. When the rising occurred, the ground drank deep of Ilithid blood, so was victory born from treachery. It is a curious lesson. Why would it be part of teachings of Zorthamon? Dakon's blade bleeds into a dead night black, and his voice deepens. For a moment you think he's angry, but you're not so sure. There is much about the way of Zorthamon and his path that is difficult to know. Do you know why Vilkor's eye is part of the way of Zorthamon? It is part of the telling of how our people came to know freedom. It lets us know that there are those people, even among the people, there are those even among the people who are not of the people, and that even in the greatest treachery, a greater knowing may be achieved. Uh, and then he gives me another thing. 
meditate upon its teaching, I would know more. The gum fingers feels around, the next is open. Okay, wow, this is, we're, just, we're just going at it. We're just, uh, we're just going at it. Let me guess, it's another one of the things that, Vilcor's eye, oh. Uh, creature, yeah, it's the same ones that he has, basically. Fifth circle. So today we'll be reading some history. Um, apparently. You slide the plates into the configuration Dakar showed you, and a new ring is revealed. Zethermon was the first to know the way of freedom, yet it was not he that first came to know the way of rebellion. The knowing of rebellion came to the warrior queen Gith, one of the people. She had served the Illithids upon many of the false worlds as a soldier, and she had come to know war and carried it in her heart. She had come to know how others might be organized to subjugate others. She knew the paths of power, and she knew the art of taking from the conquerors the weapons by which they could be defeated. Her mind was focused, and both her will and her blade <coughs> were as one. The turning in which Zerthimon came to know Gif, Zerthimon ceased to know himself. Uh, her words were as fires lit in the hearts of all who heard her. In hearing her words, he wished to know war. war. He knew not what afflicted him, but he knew he wished to join his blade to Gif. He wished to give his hate expression and share his pain with the Illithid. Gith was one of the people, but her knowing of herself was greater than any Xerthimon had ever encountered. She knew the way of flesh, she knew the Illithids, and in knowing herself she was to know how to defeat them in battle. The strength of her knowing was so great that all those that walked her path came to know themselves. Wow, she seems cool. Gith was but one. Her strength was such that it caused others to know their strength. And Zerthamon led his steel at her feet. Laid his steel at her feet. Oh, uh, no, 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 we're good. What is your will? What is your will? There is great strength in numbers, but there is great power in one. For the strength of the will of one may gather numbers to it. There is strength not only in knowing the self, but knowing how to bring it forth in others. Boom, 3,000 experience. You're, you're getting it. You have come to know the fifth circle of Zerthamon. With this knowing, I, imp I impart this to you. And he gives you another thing. I would know more. And we get more. And I got copy spell. And we get, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Oh, it's power of one. Yeah, sorry. This is the one. Cool. So now I have all the spells that he has, which doesn't really help me because, but sure. I mean, yeah, it gave me experience. All right. Uh, use. Unlock the six. You slide the plates. Read the six. Upon the blasted, how many are there, dude? Uh, upon the blasted plains, Zerthimon told Gith there cannot be two skies. In the wake of his words, came war. Came war. Upon the blasted plains, the people had achieved victory over the Illithid masters. They knew freedom. Yet before the green fires had died from the battlefield, Gith spoke of continuing the war. Many, still filled with the bloodlust in their hearts, agreed with her. She spoke of not merely defeating the Illithid, but destroying all Illithids across the plains. After the Illithids had been exterminated, they would bring war to all other races they encountered. That's not good. In Gith's heart, fires raged. She lived in war, and in war she knew herself. All that her eyes saw, she wanted to conquer. Zerthamon spoke the beginnings of that which was against Gith's will. He spoke to, that the people already knew freedom. Now they should know themselves, again, and mend the damage that had been done to the people. Behind his words were many other hearts of the people who were wary of the war against the Illithid. Know that Gith's heart was not Zerthamon's heart on this matter. Um, she said that the war would continue, the Illithid would be destroyed, their flesh would be no more. Then the people would claim the false worlds as their own. Gith told Zerthamon that they would be under the same sky in this matter. The words were like barred steel. <clears throat> From Zerthamon came the pronouncement of two skies. In the wake of his words came war. That's not cool. They fought, they fought themselves. What is your will? Gith Gith went crazy. 
Uh, 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 uh. Zerthamon learned that even in freedom, one must continue fighting for freedom, even within one's own race. Then you have not. Okay, I'll read it again. I want to talk to him. What didn't I do? It's the only thing he can say, but he says, and you have came to know nothing. Huh. I don't have another option. Am I just not enough? Like, so now is the question of, like, am I not high enough level? Or, like, what what is that? What is it that I need to do? Um... Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I just can't do any more on this. I want to talk to you about the waves. Can you train me? No. Yeah, so this is not the correct answer. Can I talk to you about the TG? I want to ask you about our travels. How about the Githrazi? Githrazi. Githrazi. I always call him Githrazi, which is just not wrong. It's just wrong. Um, never mind. I think I talked to him about everything else that I could have at this point. So, 30 minutes in. Uh, that was a history lesson. And uh, we gained some experience, which is cool. Yeah, I'm now level 5. And which is, which is on par with everybody else. Which is good. It's good. Good stuff. Okay. Now, uh, 58 warns of thought. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Boom. That is Man Mentoke? Mentoke. Okay. You see a half man, half rat hybrid. Its red eyes gleam with a certain cunning, and the voice that issues from its mouth is oily and insinuating. So a biped comes, willing, to the halls of many as one. What do you want, man, and where do you intend to go? Step lightly, intruder, and speak the truth to man took. I came from the buried village and was exploring. Ah, the village. Refresh my mind. The scavengers, yes? Have you come to scavenge? Yes, but there's nothing in this chamber pot, chamber pot worth scavenging. Nothing worthwhile, biped. The only excrement I see in our fair home is you, yet I fear we must learn to live with the stench. You will never see the light of day again. What do you mean by that? Huh? Oh, I think the game crashed. Yep, the game crashed. Don't report this to Microsoft. I don't care about reporting it to Microsoft. God damn. Uh, Planescape Torment. Yeah, so he teleported me away, apparently. That's interesting. Resume life. Oh, we were just here. We gotta save, so we can talk again, I guess. All right. Mantuk appears busy. Uh, I came for the buried village. No, I have not. Then your answer forces Mentuk to inquire, why are you here? A wrong turn, a bad step, a succession of mistakes, yes? Have you come seeking me, or many as one? Or perhaps you simply do not know why you are here. You will explain this to me now. It was a succession of mistakes. Who is many as one? You truly are ignorant, yes? Clear it is that you have come here in error. You shall not leave. He raises his hands and smoke pours from his fingers. Uh, we can talk this out. No, we can't. Okay. Guess we can't. The dislocated joints of this body suggest that its owner did not die well. What is the die well? Like, how can you die well? Ah, uh, battle axe. It's just a normal battle axe, so I don't think we can sell it for much, but we'll keep it anyways. Not a battle axe. Crescent hatchet, actually. Okay. Just gonna be looting stuff around here. This is a dead collector. The progress of decay suggests it's been here for some time. These racks were used to pin a victim down and then slowly pull him apart. Ew. Not cool. Bloodfly, gold ring, skull. Not gonna take the skull. Mace, another mace, and I can't, can't run move. While I'm carrying all this. Mace. Okay. 
So, uh, Mr. Zerthy, Mr. Zerthimon, please grab these. Can we... Baitsu Mace! It's just a slightly better mace, I guess. And a uh, Crescent Hatchet. Ooh. Daco minus one. That's crap. But anyway, you can carry all the heavy stuff. Thank you very much. Gold Ring. Tears of Sorrow. Actually, I want you to carry these. Uh, this is, goes over here. Corpse Fly Charm. We already have a stack of those. Blood Fly Charm does something. Uh, <laughs> just like whatever. And a Heart Charm can go over here. Cool. I'm gone. This was, yeah, we just did both of these. Where's my map? There we are. To the Drowned Nation's catacombs, back to the Weeping Stone catacombs. So we're gonna quick save. The door's locked. Uh, this bored looking were rat seems glad of any excuses to alleviate the tedium. Where are guards? What you want, me? I'd like to get out. Um, I'd just like to talk to you. You just want to talk, eh? Well, you'll get no conversation from old Raymond, that's for sure. He turns away from you. If you let me out of here, I'll let you live. You would, eh? What might make it worth our while to disobey man took and risk the wrath of the rats, hmm? Um, if you let me out here, now I'll let you live. The promise that none will ever know what I have done, and perhaps a promise of some coin later. How about some jink? Think about it. I'm clearly a danger to you, and yet I'm speaking to you as an equal. Do you really think these walls can hold me if I put my mind to it? I suggest, without threatening you, that it's in your best interest to let me go. That sounds like a good way to do it. I never much cared for Mantuk's bossery anyways. He unlocks the door, opens it, and steps aside. Now get out of here before I can't pretend I don't see you no longer. Wow. I just gained a ton of experience. This guy still wants to kill me, though. I mean... Cast Ball Lightning at Dakon. Who? A Cranium Rat. Whoa! Kidoki. That dealt a bunch of damage to not the correct person. Die. Okay, good job, guys. That's very nice. Please kill this Cranium Rat. Because that's some bullcrap. Why are they... Okay. My well, fucking right. god. I'll let you live. Show more. So, th those rats, there's like one tiny rat, and you kill it in an instant, but holy crap, they deal a lot of damage. Okay. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Ow. That hurt. Okay. I think we're okay. What's up? Okay. Oh god, no, no, another rat. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Alright. Holy crap. It's nice that these two just don't care about me. It's fine, you're fine. Okay, absolutely murdered. Uh, we can do the, not the quick, the, the quick loot, right? Yeah, oh, he just had nothing. Where, what, okay. No, 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 back, 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 back. Yeah, okay. Endure. In enduring gross Oh my god, run away. No, 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 that's real bad. There's a lot of them. I can't protect, like, I can't fight all of them. That's, uh, that's so scary. Okay, we're gonna do a quick save. Huh? Okay. Then we're gonna go cray cray. I hear your words. Screw them up! Yo, yeah, yeah. you go kill you. these. Uh, there's so many of them! What? What's up, Chief? Balance. Did he actually take damage? That sounds What's stupid. The word, Chief? I can take damage from something as dumb as this. What's up? Mort is dealing. It is I. It's doing it. Like he's like the only one actually doing something. And 
The con, could you could you fuck kill it? Come on. I hear your words die. Good job, guys. Good. What? Good, thank you. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. I'm alive somehow. All right, we can do we can do quick loot, which will. This is so much more convenient than all this crap. <laughs> Gotta tell you, there's a dirty rat charm, and these are cranium rats. Boom, thirty-seven now. Gotta love all some right. stacking. I like quick loot, and we're gonna keep it open. Uh, the deformity of the bones suggests that this was wear out who displeases its masters. Can I sleep here? Do you guys mind? Huh? That didn't work. Cool. I mean, not cool, but... Mm. Um, we're gonna go with 59, still alive. Rarely. Very rare, but we got it. Get going! He ducks his head and avoids looking at you. And the other one... Okay. Okay. This device appears to be a broken siege machine. Whatever, dude. Cool. Done. It looks like he's targeting me, which is really bad. Please don't target me. I'm, I'm right. not somebody that you want to target. I have no HP. Oh god, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh my god, there's so many of them now. Still alive, somehow. What's up, Chief? You go first, so that they will attack you, and not anybody who isn't Good you. Work, Jesus Good. Christ. What's up? Mort, do your thing, be cool. Okay? Good. Good. Tails. Boom. So we've killed we've killed a lot of those so far. Like a lot a lot. And we're still good. Star Corner looks like the kind of place rats would favor. <laughs> no shit. Um Okay. Quick save. I kinda wanna go and talk to to whatever his name is. Uh Mantook? Whatever what, what was his name? I think his name was Mantuk. Oh, he's not here anymore. Okay. This door is locked. Well, can you can you punch it? Failed. No. What? Can you punch it? Okay. But like hard? Failed. Failed. How about this door? Yeah, cool. Oh, there's three of them. Not you, or you. In all things. There you go. I'm hurt. Oh my fucking god. Done. Are you goddamn kidding me? What's up? Okay. Mort. Be, be, be nice. Good job. Die. Mort's amazing. Mort is the freaking boss, dude. Yeah, sure. Why not? Sure, why not? I'm gone. Huh? Okay. Did you see that? Good. This table in the room of us have some hard use. Yeah. And there's nothing else in this room other than some way rats to kill. And a blood clot charm, I guess. Why did nobody tell me about the quick loot thing? I mean I'm really glad I have it now because holy crap. But yeah. Uh, let's just organize things a slight bit, a little bit. I'm gonna 
not use the wearout skulls because I don't think they're useful. Maybe there's somebody in the game who will actually pick them up. Um, quick save successful. Cool. I'm going to make a, a bunch of big saves because I constantly quick save, but there's a lot of stuff that are, seem to be happening here. More exploring, and I could totally die at any moment, really. I could already run away, which is good. Kill, kill the, the rat. Damn. Guys, guys, like, really? Done. Oh, he's like right here in front of my face. No! Ah. All right. Come on. And I just, I just took the damage. Like he saved. At least he saved versus spell. But this is some bullshit. They just immediately cast chain lightning or something. Or I don't know what, what spell they're casting, but they're casting a big old spell. It's bullshit. Guys, 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 kill him, kill him. Thank you. All right. Stop doing critical misses. Disappointed. Soul drilling device appears partially functional. A closer inspection reveals its innards has been cannibalized for parts. Interesting. Back whipping stones, and this is to drown nations, which we cannot do at the moment, but we will be able maybe later. Who knows? Oh, lots of rats. Okay. I'm gonna. Up. Send you first, and okay. don't you go fight him. Endure. And you guys do whatever the Endure. hell you want. Grow strong. Yeah. Mort, keep. Can you? Thank you. Damn it. Good job. And lastly, good job. Boom. 60. Right. Like most everything else out here, this war machine is non-functional. Huh? Okay. I'm gone. Did Mort versus that? one thing, or both my other characters, who are also fighters in a way, but I'm also gone. not fighters. But Jesus Christ. Okay, we're just exploring the dungeon and murdering everybody. What? Okay. Oh god, there's a lot of them. See, the thing is that, like, if there's a bunch of them, apparently they're useless. But if there's one of them, he casts spells. That makes no sense to me because I was told it's the other way around! So I do not understand this. These casts contain fairly Done. fresh water. Oh god. And... Come on. Good. Oh, not over here. Over here. Game. Uh, junk. I'll take the junk as well because I'm collecting it. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I wish these stacked. God damn, I wish these stacked. Okay. The hooks on this device say it's been recently used. They're still bloody. Great. Oh, hello. All right. Nice. I'm gone. Okay. So this is a thing, and this is a thing. So we've got two doors here. Uh, let's keep exploring. I'm I'm just like scared. More exploration. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. God damn it. Ow. And I died. Why didn't I just heal 45? Ow. Sure, why not? Ow. I'm gone. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! Yes! <laughs> it freaking died before it could cast a bullshit spell. And now all the other ones will come out? Or... 
My inventory is not full. Come on. And over here. Okay. Done. Junk. Where are all the other ones? Sometimes they come out and sometimes they just do not. And that makes no sense to me, but okay. Like, what is the trigger? If the other one is still alive and starts casting the spell, then he calls upon the others. And they're always injured, which is really interesting. So the, the, the ones that cast spells are alone and they are injured. I do not understand that. Chetol, but that's what it is. So, okay. I'm hurt. Ow. Yeah, not on me though. Don't don't attack me. Or just okay, just kill it before it can attack me. That would be nice. Die. All right. Ooh, a small bottle. Oh, that bottle might be the thing that we're talking about that we're they were looking for. Not. Don't be first. Why are you always first? Cool. Kill this guy. Come on. Good job. I'm gone. These casks contain moldy grain. These barrels hold some meat that is beginning to spoil. I'm not full. Shut up. Merc. Invokes black sphere. This is a small bottle containing some dark liquid. The liquid contains within seem to be thicker and blacker than ordinary liquid. The blackness of the liquid is so dark that light seems to be absorbed into the liquid. Merc. I have no idea what it is, but we're going to keep that over there for now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to just do this so that we have more room uh, at the moment because I do want to keep all these and sell them. So that's what we're going to do for now pretty quickly so that we can continue doing these things and giving them to Mort. Uh, we're 52 minutes in. I want to keep going a little bit longer. And yeah, is there a way for me to like, you cannot change the nameless one's party order. Oh, I can do this, but the nameless one has to be at the beginning. But there is formation that I can do. Follow, gather, four and two, three by two, uh, line. Can we do a line, but the nameless one being last? I don't know. I, I looked in there, right? Okay. So this looks like it connects here, which is good because I want to go there as well. Yeah, this opens up. Where are we looking at? Oh, God, no. No, kill it. You Thank that? you. Whew. 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 God damn, they always look away and I don't know what triggers them to murder me or not. Fairly, these boxes fairly rattle with the scuttling of rats inside them. So there are rats in there, but they don't come out. For some reason. Uh, I guess. And this was another location that... Oh my god, there's so many of these! But Morse first, so it's okay. Do I have any AoE? I had AoE, right? I had some AoE. Can we, can we cast like a spell? Swarm. Can you, can you cast, dude? Dude? No. It's gonna go back here? Okay. What the hell happened? I don't know. Oh, they're all dying. Fantastic. They're all moving through the swarm and dying. Very good. Talk about some AoE. That was killer. That was extremely loud. I don't know how, how loudly you heard that, but that was extremely loud for me. And my sound is turned all the way off, so. Okay, Endure. don't, don't die. Enduring, grow strong. Please don't, don't die. Not right now, we had a good encounter here. We had a really good encounter here. Remember the dude who wants cranium rats? I'm assuming he's gonna just flip out at the amount of 
the amount of them that I'm going to be giving him. Quick save. Go in here. There's a torture device. You draw this inference from the pieces of flesh that hang from its hooks. Its use, however, is a mystery to you. Body is fresh. Despite the right butts covering the flesh, it appears to be one of Farad's collectors. Okay. And there's these two who do not attack me because I'm nice or something. Or or something. Uh, I, I looked into this run. Okay. Right here. Okay. To the Cranium Rat Collective. Okay, so we finished this area. I am kind of itching to run away and, and go heal before I go in there because um, going further for death, pretty much. Like, I kind of want to just go back. Uh, I think we can do that quickly and then go back there. And yeah, like just, you know, sleep, sell, basically do all of that stuff. But I also want to real quick talk to this guy and see if that's good. If we can do that. If, if I got the water that, oh, Christ, there's more of these. I don't think they've ever dealt damage to me Encore. until now. Encore. Okay. That's up. Good is done. Hey guys, how are you? I don't think they've ever done dead kills me. And to kill me, they need to do 10 damage or more. You know, that's a lot of damage. I'm going. No, 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 no. Yes. Poor Dakon. Dakon just died. Well. That's sure, why not? Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, so we're just gonna. I, I'm going up anyways, so we're just gonna cast spells in order to kill them. Yeah, you don't have to do anything. Good. Cast some more, some more spells, dude. Or don't. I don't even care. Spells are like, man. The spells make a lot of sound. That's what I wanted to say. Quick save. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Not yet. Okay, so I did not find it. So the thing that I had was not it. Okay. So we're just gonna go uh, sell and yeah, quickly and get out of here. Done. As usual, we need to bash this, and then we need to fight some guards. Did you see that? Did you see that? Can you die? Thank you. Okay, let's go sell stuff. And then I think on the way back I'll just ignore them because they're going to be there again. And that's annoying. So first, first we sell. Let's trade. Okay, cool. This, 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 sell. Thank you. Um, not this one, but these maces. And if it costs a lot, I'm just not going to do it right now. I'm just going to keep it. But we can sell. And we have a lot of money, which totally matters. We have all these things, which we'll never use. But we have them, and that's what matters. Yeah. Cool. All right. And let's go take a nap. Two, 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 two. All right. Walk around. I have questions. Can I rest here? Very well. Sleepy time. Cool. You rested. Full HP. And that is fantastic. And these guys who are mean and want to fight me. Cool. Cool. Please also be money and not a copper, not a not a not money. Oh come on, you dealt twelve damage to the. To... I hate this game. 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 I hate this game
I hate this game. <laughs> I mean, there's no meaning to what I'm doing right now. It's just right. like. Uh, 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 thank yeah. you. Sure, why not? And there's a fresh supply of I'm infinite gone. dudes. I'm just gonna run past them. Should be able to do that, right? Oh yeah, we do have to. Bat. Forced it. Oh cool, they weren't. Okay. Okay. Good. Right. Ha. So. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We are going to go there and just, uh, yeah, keep going. Next time, we had a nice history lesson, and then we killed a bunch of rats. Uh, this is a good episode. It's good stuff. Good. We got some progress going. Please don't. Oh, my God. So the game crashed, uh, which is perfect time to, to finish this. I'm just going to load it back up, and, yeah, you, you crashed. Can you just... Don't report this to Microsoft. I don't care. I just want to get to the place. I'm just happy. To, uh, Planescape Torment. As I was saying, thank you so much for watching. I really don't know why it keeps crashing. It's very interesting. Um, I mean, at least I save a lot, so we're good. Dumb. Yeah, we were just here. So everything's fine. Dumb. I really hope that sleeping didn't make every, but everything... Oh, Oh my god, he hit me once and that's the damage that was dealt? All right. Oh my god. Why does this game hate me? Forced it. What is happening? Why is the game just being really mean to me right now? I'm gone. If they're all back, I'll just be really sad. I just wanted to go to sleep, dude. Just like, just to replenish all of my HP. And some spells and stuff. It's like, is that, is that too much to ask? At least I quick save now. I'm gone. Quick save again. Can I just run past everything? Or is that just not smart to no, do? Okay. I'm just gonna put him in front because he's the most durable of us. Still took three damage, but I'm totally fine with three damage. I'm not fine with you know twenty four. What was it? Did he just crit me or something? Like, this is just crap. It's just like complete bull crap. All I'll right. take these. Quick save. Especially the, the single ones. Please don't give me the single ones again. Okay, good. We've got nothing. Okay, good. I can... No, just just don't. Just, just go away. Just go away. Huh? Just go away. Don't. Don't. Sure, why not? I'm gone. What? Good boy. Good. <laughs> So, Mort the Skull just put a bandage around him, and that healed him. I see no problem. Um, we're gonna keep going uh, next time. Thank you so much for watching. We're just after an hour, and I'll make a big save. Going further for death. Yay. Save. Yes. Uh, and yeah, as usual, thank you so much for watching. Next week, uh, I'll see what I'll do because we are traveling a little bit, but we should be fine. And, yeah, I just need to make a, an episode beforehand or something. Or something. We'll see what happens. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.